As you might know, David Davis is one of the staunchest advocates of civil liberty protections in the House of Commons. He's a fantastic MP who has long stood up for the God-given, free-born right of every Englishman to not have their, every part of their life intruded upon by an overbearing state. So, he gave a speech to Big Brother Watch on vaccine passports, speaking out against them and the, the sort of the breaking of a line, crossing of a line, that that would actually have a consequence of doing. And he's been censored for doing that. Silicon Valley have actually censored one of the most prominent backbenchers in the House of Commons, a democratically elected representative of our elected chamber. And I'm, I, it's, it's really quite troubling, actually, because, you know, in saying that vaccine passports are unwarranted and unnecessary in the battle against COVID, because, you know, Despite being vaccinated, you can still spread the damn thing. So what is the point, ultimately? Now, for saying that, he's, a speech he made has been removed on the grounds that it contradicts expert consensus. Now, you're thinking, back in the 90s, you know, back when I was born, the World Health Organization actually said that being gay was a mental health disorder. Now, that nowadays, if you said that sort of thing, of course, you'd be cancelled outright. But you could say it then. You could actually say it then. And I would have been removed from YouTube had I said, well, actually, as a gay man, I don't feel like I've got a mental disorder because of that fact. And I'd be removed from YouTube for saying that. So once we get into this territory of censoring speech because it goes against what the World Health Organization and other outfits like that are saying, then you don't have free speech at all. He, in arguing this, David Davis said that, you know, these things were illiberal and requiring papers to, to do this was just not helpful at all. And YouTube removed the speech by Big Brother Watch and saying, refused actually to specify, as they always do, what actually had breached the rules here. Now, I, I can't stress enough how troubling I find that. Uh, David Davis himself said that his speech at conference was carefully researched, totally accurate, and backed up with the latest scientific evidence, which of course it was. Now, silencing elected members of parliament, silencing, censoring, the uploading of content that goes against the grain. Free speech online is in peril. It really, really is. And I think it's time for the government to get a grip of this before we, you know, are, are not free to say anything at all. I wonder how long I've got left on YouTube, folks. The mind boggles, it really does. Thank you so much for watching this video. Reasoned is a grassroots organisation that's entirely funded by people like yourself. So if you're in a position to do so, please do consider supporting us by clicking the link to the side there.